This week on ADI Your Dream Pusher TV show, I talk with sisters, founders, and CEOs of Grandmom's Honey Stuff. I share a few health tips and learn about rose fragrance at the Kanye's Mini Mall. Also, I'm going to share an entrepreneur tip and leave you guys with the featured artist of the week, Jay Harris, the producer, Issa in America. Stay tuned. It's going to be a good one. My visionary dreamers. Adion, your dream pusher. You actually have the power to change your life. Stop dreaming and do it. You know us extraordinary folk doing the damn thing. A better life starts now. We have to start letting go of the old mindsets. And now, Adion, your dream pusher. What's up, my visionary dreamers? This is ABI, your dream pushing your life for saving you from yourself, from the world, from some real bull. And you are viewing ABI, your dream pusher TV, the show for everyday people doing everyday things, living everyday life. You know us extraordinary folk doing a thing the best way we can. And today I have two wonderful ladies sitting here with me today, Demetria and Javette, and they are Grandma Honey Stuff. Representatives, creatives, CEOs, founders, all that good stuff. And we just, I wanted to bring them on because they have a wonderful product, guys. And I want them to tell you about their story. We met, um, what was, that was it last was like year, right? December. Yeah. December, December yeah. last year. And if you catching the show, today is, is in September 2020. And we met in December, December. Yeah. 2019. Yeah. And it was just, they were out vending. And I was out vending for someone, and I decided, like, uh, this is boring. I'm going to smoke <laughs> and meet some yeah. folks. Uh -huh. And I decided to just pull out my mic and do the podcast show. And I mean, a lot of people listen to the show, and they love you ladies. They love what oh, you had you. to say. They love what you stood for. And you were very inspirational to them oh. as far as entrepreneurships and, you know, going after your dreams and visions. Yeah. So ladies, I like to let the ladies tell you about themselves, about the business, as opposed to me giving you this big spiel, because they can tell you better than me. So how did it all begin? Even though I already know stories, <laughs> but how did Grandma Honey Stuff begin? Yeah, so um, well, we're sisters, um, mm -hmm. you know, I'm the younger. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Um, so I'm we, the Yeah. <laughs> so we are sisters. Um, and pretty much it started about 12 years ago when we had children. We didn't want to give them over the counter cough syrup. Like right. they get sick and get a cough, cold congestion. So we kind of went back to our grandmother's roots. Um, we went old school, mixed some things up. And, and it was um, a recipe um, inspired by her. And we just right. tweeted it and came up with the perfect little recipe. Yeah, perfect little recipe. Uh -huh. So, yeah. Demetria, like, Tell us one of those moments that home <laughs> sister can't fight, you know. Tell us one of those moments that maybe, I mean, you sisters, of yeah. course, but maybe you were like, I don't know if this will work, you know? Yeah, um, I think me and her, we battle because sometimes, like, I know how to put it on, like, the corporate side, right? right. And she's just, like, straight, like, let's do this, about yeah. to do it. I'm about to post whatever on social media. <laughs> we're out here vending. She'll call people like, yo, you want to drive the money? And I'm like, hey, keep it down, you know? <laughs> whoop -dee -whoop. You know, so I'm a little bossy sister, and she's more like, let's go do it. We're going to do it, we're going to do it. So it's a nice balance. Yeah. And we've learned throughout the years where I have to be more sensitive to what she wants, and she mm. has more. So we learn how to, we have a beautiful Team word. Teamwork. Yes. Exactly, yes. So we give a beautiful balance to each other. Mm -hmm. So when um, Javette was that moment that y'all feel like this is it, we got it, we got it, let's run with it. When everybody kind of loved our product and we was like, we're gonna bottle it and we're gonna go with it. And we thought it was as simple as putting in a bottle, hitting up some stores and, and going to the bed and everything was good. But no, we was like, uh, uh, hold, <laughs> hold up, wait a minute. Yeah. We have to get, you know, get it inspected. Mm -hmm. We have to make sure there's no microbials. We have to make sure that the logo was registered. Wow. Shelf life. Shelf life. Yes. Oh, we were like, wait a minute. I just thought it, 
It's so simple. Everybody love it. It yeah. works for us. Yes. It's good, it's food, it's all that. Yeah. And then here comes the yeah, the, the red tape. Yeah, yeah, the red tape. The like, hall. Uh, yeah, and there were, sorry to interrupt, but there were a few times where I think I've cried quite mm -hmm. a few. Oh, and, yes. you know, just dealing with, you know, it's like cool. the legalities behind yes. everything. And at one point I thought, you know, people were trying to sabotage. You're you. trying to sabotage oh. my dream. And, you know, the ladies were maybe like, calm down. Like, I've got 50 other people online. Okay. Hey, okay. it's not that serious. <laughs> Y'all are not special. Exactly right. You know, so but when you're passionate about what you want and what you want to do, and then you have these it's red tape coming from right. everywhere, that's where it's going to test your, it's going to test your whatever. Like yes. endurance, yeah. right? Yeah. Endurance, like you have the stamina to do, do it. Really yeah. Want to do yeah. And the perseverance yeah. to just keep it. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I'm sure that when that time came, you know, you were the crier, but yeah. I'm sure Javel was like, girl, like, like I'm yeah, yeah, come on, we come got it. I'll get yeah, my third number. I'll call, I got through with the gatekeeper. I got through the phone, I got through the yeah. gatekeeper. And I'm like, well, what is it specifically you need? What is it that we need to do? Yeah, and right. I go with it, I called me, I called me, and you're like, look, look, we're gonna make this happen. You know, like, we have a great product. Right. She has more than just us. Let's not take it personal. Shake yeah. it off. Let's yeah. get back yeah. on the grind. Yeah. And we did that, but she was That's not happy. Right. With, yeah, I wasn't. Yeah. No names, yeah. but <laughs> she's trying to bring yeah. her yeah. product down. Yeah. Yeah. So, Demetria, you know, the business one. <laughs> <laughs> no pressure. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, they both, you have kids. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. And how many kids do you have? I have four. Four? Between the ages of six and 13. Six and 13. Wow. Yeah. And, and I have a 12 year old. A 12 year old. Yeah. And yes. are you married or? Yeah, married, married. Husband and dog, the whole show. Okay. Yes. And, then, <laughs> and I have um, three other stepchildren. Okay. And then I'm, I'm engaged. Okay. All right. All right. All right. So, right. what leads me to how do they feel about it? How do the kids mm -hmm. feel about the company? I'm um, start with Demetria. Um, so I, my husband is my rock. I promise you, like he's everything. So Go I, husband. yeah, I would not be able to do this right now. My kids would be in a corner somewhere, like sit down, be quiet. <laughs> um, so very supportive. My family is very supportive. Yeah. So yeah. what about you, Javet? Well, well sure. same here. Like everybody's supportive. My 12 year old, um, she's very supportive of my son stuff. And she's the biggest fan. Right. At the same time, sometimes she's like, why do you always have to go and then? Oh. And I'm like, you can come with me. Uh -huh. And she do sometimes because she have a uh, lip balm. Right. Um, yeah, yeah, I remember. She has you want to get her on when right. I do my, my use. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And so that us doing grandma's honey stuff shows her that we don't have to work the nine to five. We can live mm -hmm. our passion. And nice. at the same time, we have to give a little more to your business because we're working for ourselves. Exactly. And so it takes a little more investment. Now my fiance at first, he used to be like, love it, go do you, mm -hmm. enjoy, this right. is your business, shine. But then it came to a point, everything was grandma's honey stuff. I would give him one babe, I gotta go ahead and make the list, or I gotta call to meet you because we gotta go meet somebody or got everything was grandma's yeah. like, all right, all right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, no, this I'm is over it. Like, yeah. I mean, I used to be home sometimes, so I had to do a balancing act, but now that he's doing what he's doing, and he right. goes, now I have a little more freedom. Right. So, you know, you have to be able to balance yes. the two, and you have to have a supportive partner because when you have your own business, as many Girl. people know, it's a never-ending job. And yes, we still have nine to five. Yes. And we still work. You yeah. know, so it's Super women here. Yeah. Yeah. Super women. <laughs> you make it yeah. When you yeah. love it, you'll do it. It doesn't it feel like it, work. Exactly. It doesn't yeah. feel yeah. like a yeah. job. Yeah. Yeah. So, ladies, I mean, where do, where can the people find um, Grandma Sunny stuff? Okay, yeah, so right now we're actually in the process of getting it in, in different stores, so we're still okay. in the process of doing that. Right now it is in one store in the West End Afrocentric Network, okay. um, so you can find us there. So that's the store we are in currently. Um, otherwise, you can go to our website, which okay. is grandmashoneystuff.com. Yes. Yep. Um, and then also on social media, you can follow us, Instagram, Facebook, um, Grandma's Honey mm -hmm. Stuff. And then usually there, if we are like throughout the city, like Metro Atlanta, we'll let you know where we're gonna be. Um, and soon on our page, we'll also put like little um, events that we have coming up and also the stories that we'll be in. So, you know, it's, it's like, like right right home. Home. So, do we even say what grandma makes stuff for? Oh, we sure <laughs> know. <laughs> yeah. We just sit here. I know. <laughs> Grandma's Honey Stuff, yes. So Grandma's Honey Stuff is a uh, raw 
honey, and it's infused with garlic, ginger, cayenne, pepper, lemon. So it's infused with spices, uh, vegetables, and fruits. Right. Um, and you know, people use it for a wide variety of things. I mean, right. we personally use it to help with cough, cold, and congestion. That was that was our tip. Right. 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 Um, mm -hmm. People put it on they put their it chicken, chicken, their fish, tea, um, in their tea, on their toast, in their coffee. You would right. be surprised, like people tell us all the time, the great recipes they use it. Yeah. Um, yeah. And, you know, honey has no shelf life. It is preservative and it is local. It helps with allergies. So yeah. everything in this bottle you can pronounce. There's yeah. no preservative. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's five everything. ingredients, all natural. It's truly something that I'm sure an elder or grandmother, somebody probably mixed up in the kitchen. Right. You know, but it's conveniently in the bottle. So Javette, how do you feel? You know, going back from the beginning to now, how do you feel? I feel so blessed. You know, because again, it was a seed. It was an idea. Right. It was a thought, and then it turned into a product, and then it turned mm. into calling people, asking if we could put our stuff on the shelf. Then it came into like, you know, so real. And then we go out, like I said, we went out to the communities, and mm. just to like put yourself in vulnerable positions. Yeah. Oh, hear God, someone yes. say no, you're like already setting yourself up before you go in there. Yeah. So mm -hmm. you go like, let's go. Yeah, let's, let's do it. Let's and then, and then yeah. we get so much love, and it's like. This is exactly what we yeah. need to keep pushing forward. Right, right. right. The support and the right. energy, like, it is, like, I feel like a ball of fire. Like, I feel like crying right now. Uh, I, 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 I see your eyes turn up. 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 I was like, oh, I don't have no tissue. <laughs> but it's so exciting. But it's, it's so it's good. Yeah. I feel the energy. I feel the energy. And, and I like to ask that question because, you know, I think about, you know, we met me doing, when I was doing my podcast show, and it's still on, and this is the third year for the podcast oh, show. Yeah. August the uh, 13th was the third year. Mm -hmm. And I can remember, ladies, when I just had that one download, and I was all excited, I was like, hey, I got one, mm -hmm. I got one download. And, and I did, I like started it from scratch. I didn't put it on my family, friend, Facebook. Like I started everything from scratch. I'm still not on social media. <laughs> anyway, okay. But I start everything from scratch and today I can sit here and say when I look at my stats in the back, I have people in India, Japan, wow. Germany. Wow. I'm like, where are these people finding wow. my podcast from? Now, you know, the creator opened up the door for this TV show as a platform where they were listening, visionary dreamers out there were listening mm -hmm. and I'm encouraging them. But now all the visionary dreamers, not all. Not all of y'all, can't be all of y'all, <laughs> but I can Zoom some of y'all. But now is a platform for the vision, for me to be able to give back to the listeners and for them to come on and share with other people out there mm -hmm. that's just dreaming and scared and, yeah. you know what I mean, don't know how to go about it and they can hear you guys' story yeah. and y'all can give them hope. So ladies, I know, I'm, this has been so, so much fun. I already knew this interview was gonna be fun, you know? And just like the ladies were telling me, like, I'm not on social media much, but I'm getting better, y'all. I'm about to get there. Okay. But, you know, it was a year, and I really hadn't contacted them, but I told them mm -hmm. last year that I want, that I'm gonna have a TV show and I want them to come on. And here it is from December to now August. September. No, oh, look. Let's get out of 2020. And, you know, I, I'm a person that I keep my word. I just yeah, wanted to make cool. sure that everything was in position. It's just me and my son doing this. Right. You know, he's behind the camera right now. And, you know, he's grown up to be able to help me out with my dreams. Like, I've been helping him out with his. He nice. wants to college and stuff like that. Yeah. So, it's like, it's awesome how things come together, you yeah. know, just when you least expect it. But yeah. if you're, again, moving, yeah. it all comes together, yeah, absolutely. you know? Yeah. You know? Yeah. So is there anything that you would like to say? Okay, let's say it this way. If you were a visionary dreamer out there watching, mm -hmm. right? And you had this dream and you wanted to do it. Now knowing what you know. What, and I'm gonna get you too, Jeanette. Okay. <laughs> what would you say to them if that was you sitting watching? Yeah, um, I would honestly say, and it sounds really cheesy, but you really can't give up. Like, mm. when it's something you really love, it speaks to your soul. Right. And that's how you know. For me, at least, that's how I knew because I'm very inconsistent. I, one day I, I'm doing this and for a whole month I'm gung ho and then next thing you know it's like, oh, I'm not doing that no more. 
you know, but this is the only thing that I've truly stuck to my whole entire life, you right. know? And I can I can honestly speak to that, you know? Right. And you really have to stick to it and just give energy to it. Once you give energy to it, everything else is gonna fall in place. You're gonna struggle, but you just gotta keep it pushing. Right. And I know it sounds very like, this is the advice everyone gives, but it's so true. And I'm speaking it, I'm speaking truth because it, it's really how we go day to day. And right. where we are now, and I know we're gonna be bigger in a few months. Mm -hmm. I'm speaking that because I already know it now. Really right now. You have to just keep it pushing. You have to believe in yourself to know that you're worth it. Mm -hmm. Anybody can really make this in the kitchen, but you're not making this in the kitchen. Right. You ain't making this right here. You see what I'm saying? So you have to believe in your product, believe in yourself, and you have to believe in the creator and know that things are going to work out. Yes. Yes. Well said. What about you, Javette? How do I follow up with that? <laughs> 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 If you were, I'm sent back up okay, again because right. it might give you a different answer okay, when I say it. <laughs> if you, Javette, mm -hmm. was watching this show right now, okay, mm -hmm. and someone was over here, what would you want them to say to you to help you get started? Um, I would say truly indeed, like, look at people or whatever field that you're going into, mm -hmm. like, look at YouTube, read books, mm -hmm. um, surround yourself with like-minded people. Right. Um, meditate, mm -hmm. write it down. You know what I'm saying? Just sit still sometimes, because we're always going, going, going. Our mind's always going. Yes. Sit down and, and just meditate a couple of minutes a day. When you first wake up, just don't jump out of bed. Mm -hmm. Sit down and concentrate on what it is that you want to do. And with this time right now, with COVID-19, and yes. you can't do so much, you have so much time to live and mm. plant that seed to to build whatever it is that you have. Like, why not you? Why not you? If somebody else can do it, why not you? Mm. You know, key, key. So why not believe, you? Yeah, believe in mm. yourself and make it happen. You can always go back to a nine to five. You can always find a just over growth. Right. But believe in what it is that you are here. Everybody have a gift. Mm -hmm. Just listen. It'll come. It will come. So, mm -hmm. any motion, slow motion is better than no motion. Oh, I like that. Slow motion is better than no motion. Yeah. Yeah. People that was a good follow-up, girl. Yeah, y'all been on the same thing. That's why I just changed it around. Just a little bit. I'm just asking the same question. Just, just do a couple good words in there. You know, but I mean, that was some great advice. I mean, it's not a lot of uh, things on TV that we can watch that we can get inspired by. You know, it's a lot of, anyway. But guys, take advantage. Take advantage. If, if you don't have a job and you know, you waiting for your job to start back up, no, you need to create your own job. You have something in you, you have a talent, you have a gift, we all do, you have a purpose. Like Javette said, start writing it down. Writing it down, I tell y'all this all the time, y'all see the journals in the back? Write it down. Rewrite it until it comes to life. And that's all you need to do. It sounds simple, but it, it really is. Yes, it might be some challenges and obstacles in between, but it's building your character. It's, it's growing you up. If we don't have obstacles, we, we don't know how to find out how we can problem solve. So, guys, stop dreaming and do it. So, again, guys, what is it that you would like to sign off with? Um, just thank you for giving us the opportunity to come to your platform. Oh, thank y'all. Thank y'all. Thank you for that. Mm -hmm. And um, just, yeah, just allowing us to speak to your audience. Mm -hmm. and, and hopefully, um, Prayerfully, we gave you all something that can actually help inspire. Uh, thank you, guys. Uh, thank you. I, we can't hug on camera, so we got a fist pump. Yeah, fist pump. Yes. Fist pump. Yes. Yes. <laughs> so, guys, I just want to thank you for viewing the show. Thank you, Grandma Honey Stuff, Javette and Demetria, yes. for coming on the show and talking to my visionary dreamer. I will see you guys soon. This is ADI, your dream pusher your lifeguard, saving you from yourself, the world, some real bull, and you are viewing Adion, your dream pusher TV. Stop dreaming and do it. What's going on guys, Adion here, sharing with you one of my health tips. You have to get out in nature, guys. 
Get out in nature. The best way you can, whether it's walking, whether it's jogging, or whether it's just moose meditating. Breathing in nature, what Mother Nature has for us to enjoy. And this also helps us with our oxygen levels. You know, water calms the mind, anxiety, your nervous system, just being out in nature. And it's, it's free. <laughs> you don't have to pay for any meds to just come out here and breathe in this oxygen that God created for us to enjoy and enjoy the trees and calm your mind, calm your anxiety. You know, when you ever are in doubt of yourself or you have a lot of chaos going on within your household, this is a great thing to do is just get out and walk instead of exploding or, you know, going into an anger mode, you just come out, it's free. Everyone has a park somewhere near, a walking trail. You might not have water like me, or but you always have something. Something with trees and nature around you that you can just get away and escape. To me, it's like a little mini vacation because I come here and I get out my, don't my thoughts out, and then I just enjoy. I enjoy life. We don't take a moment to enjoy life, guys. A lot of times, a lot of us, we don't take just 15 minutes out of your day or more to just enjoy life. Enjoy the creation of life. You get what I'm saying? Watch the birds fly, watch the butterflies, the little bugs, and all of that. And just watch how careless they are, how carefree they are with life. And then we can take that energy for ourselves and begin our day, our week, and whatever else. So this is Avion with your health tip for the day. I hope you get out there, enjoy nature, enjoy what God created for us to enjoy for free. Probably the only thing that's for free. <laughs> Until the next segment, I'll see you guys. What's going on guys, Avion here, still back at the mini mall. I had to take another trip back to see some more vendors so that you guys can know this is a, a pandemic going on. So there's a lot of you out there, I know lost jobs, but what better time to start your own business? Minimum cost, no loss. We're here right now with Ro. Hi, how y'all doing? I am Ro, this is Rose Fragrance. We do everything to keep your house, your body, and your car smelling well. Well, smelling good. Uh, we do old school music, old school movies. We're here Thursdays through Sunday, um, 12 to 8, Sunday 1 to 6. And our prices are very reasonable. We've been here for 10 years, and we're doing what we do. That's what I'm talking about. All right. And Ro, he always had the music on. I'm telling y'all, we, we had to let him know we can't play the music in the background. but. We always had the sounds going for y'all. Y'all definitely got to come and check them out. And this is Kima's husband, the manager of the place. And how long have y'all been here, Ro? We've been here 10 years. 10 years. Ten so years. that should tell y'all a lot. Like I said, you don't need the big storefront. Right. Because we've had that too. <laughs> okay. Okay. And sometimes you start small, of course you make more money, right? Yes, we do. You get to keep more money, right? right? Less rent. <laughs> yeah, less rent. Mm -hmm. So come on down here. Kanye's Mini Mall, get your start. Got to start somewhere, guys. Right. And you might be here for 10 years, raking in all the dope, like bro. All right, <laughs> thank you. Thank you so much, bro. Okay. We appreciate you. Appreciate you. Until next time, we'll be right back. Okay, my visionary dreamers, time for the entrepreneur tip of the week. Entrepreneur tip of the week is plain and simple. Why do you want to be an entrepreneur? And I take this from my book, my first book, real small and simple read, lessons I learned as an entrepreneur and look out for the updated version with way more resources in it. But just to get you started, the short read will answer some of the questions as a new entrepreneur and maybe make you revisit far as who you are as an entrepreneur today. 
So again, why do you want to be an entrepreneur? Is it because of all the glitz and glamour that you think entrepreneurs are living in from social media? Or is it because of the money, the materialistic thing? Or is it just simply because you have a passion? You have something that you thought was a hobby that is just taking over your life and you know in your heart that you can do it. You have what it takes to make money from this passion. These are the things you have to determine before you take that big leap of becoming an entrepreneur because it is not always glitz and glamour as an entrepreneur. If you ask any entrepreneur, they will, if they're honest, if they're honest, they will share with you the hard work it takes to be disciplined, to get up when no one else is looking and out there, when no one else is looking to do the things that you know you're supposed to be doing. Because why? You're not reporting to a boss anymore. You're not reporting to a job, but you are reporting to yourself. So that's what I wanna tell you guys today. That's the tip. Make sure when you go out there to be this entrepreneur that you know your passion, you know your worth, and you know this is something that you truly wanna do in your heart. Because when you know all of that, you will never stop. You will never give up and you will never quit. And you will always find a way to make a way out of nowhere. That's the entrepreneur tip of the day. Know your passion, know your worth, know your value. And go out there, stop dreaming and do it. No justice. No peace. 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 Save love. This is a state of emergency. I only really wanna die, I only really wanna stay Hands up to the sky, hope I see another day Mama, please don't you cry Where's the love for my people? Where's this not killing my people? Sick and tired of being pains for four hundred years And we still getting beaten no more 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 Taking no longer, I swear you can get it however you want it. They taking our lives, so fuck your designer. My people been hurting for years, 400 tears keep running and fill up a pool of blood they left us in. I'm yelling for the president and the hateful men that agree with him. America built on the backs of the black skin, it was founded on hate from the begin. So how the hell it's gonna be great again? I don't wanna die, but I ain't scared to. On the mountaintop with a rare view to the promised land where we headed to. Can't kill my flesh, we can't kill my soul. They don't know that we spiritual. I don't really wanna die, I don't really wanna stay Hands up to the sky, hope I see another day Mama, please don't you cry Where's the love for my people? Wish it's not killing my people This episode of ADN, Your Dream Pusher TV show, was sponsored by ZNF Dominican Hair Salon, the ladies that keeps my hair beautiful and healthy, open Monday through Saturday. For more information, contact Zobi or FIFA at 770-648-6600. This episode of ADN Your Dream Pusher TV show was sponsored by the Conyers Mini Mall, the place where visionary dreamers' dreams become a reality. Located at 1439 Old Selim Road, Southeast, Conyers, Georgia, 30013. For more information, call 770-922. 7927 and ask for Kima. Thank you for viewing another episode of ADI Your Dream Pusher TV show. To catch the full episode, visit Chronicles of Living Without a G on YouTube. Don't forget to tune in next week. Same time, same place.